Hello and welcome to this DITV Sports Update. I'm Jason Ebner alongside Mike Wollin. And we've been bringing you the top plays on DITV of the 2006 Iowa men's basketball team. Plays one and two still to come. But first, let's start it off with number 10. Game against Michigan State looks like a simple pass to Haluska, but Jeff Horner sets a career assist mark for the Hawkeyes. He had 590 in his career. Number nine, Horner to Hanson. Dunk you very much. Bruner loves it. We chuck out the slow-mo. Hanson goes up high. Hawkeyes win triple overtime. Number eight, and what would a top ten countdown be without a Doug Thomas dunk? Watch Thomas enter your picture and dunk on Joe Krabenhoff, and then he gets the crowd into it as he likes to do. Another look at it shows Doug say, get the Joe Krabenhoff me, as he throws it down. Hawkeyes beat Wisconsin. Number seven, we visit the Minnesota game again. Greg Bruner had a Herculean type night, came away with 23 rebounds, setting a new Carver Hawkeye Arena record. Bruner also went along later in the season and set the career mark for most rebounds for a Hawkeye. Well, now we go to number six, and it was a Saturday night against Ohio State, simply Doug Thomas night. Watch Thomas here like hot knives through butter, and he takes it to the rack. And I love this. Look at his reaction. Oh, God, I love that. And then we'll cap it off with a little half-court alley dunk. Doug Thomas, a huge night. Hawkeyes beat Ohio State. Number five, we travel to Evanston, Illinois. Corner on the steal, feeds it to Hanson, jumps out of the gym, throws it down. However, Hawkeyes go on to lose. Michigan State game, Doug Thomas on the break. He's going to do something crazy. Oh, he just did. And then... I think this flex might have been for Maurice Ager. Not sure. Actually, yes, I am. And yes, it was for Mo Ager. Take that, Mo, says Dougie. Let's see it again, slow Mo. Dougie skies, and the Hawkeyes beat Michigan State on Valentine's Day. Number three, we go to the final game of the season. His final game at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Jeff Horner soars up high with the left hand and throws it down. And Doug Thomas makes the top ten again. Here at number two, watch him sky in the air and throw down the alley-oop from Horner. I thought this ball was headed to the fifth row. But watch again as we slow it down for you. Dougie just absolutely gets up. We call him the elevator, man. That's what Dickie V would call him. Look how high he gets. Look at his head in relation to the rim. Almost even. What a dunk. And finally, number one, Tony Freeman. Off the backboard to Doug Thomas versus Maryland Eastern Shore. Doug flexes the muscles. Now check out the slow-mo here. Tony hears Doug screaming down the court, has the awareness to throw it off the backboard, and Doug just snatches it out of his hands and throws it down. And now you can have your say in some of your favorite Doug Thomas dunks of the season. All you have to do is log on to dailyiowan.com and pick what you think was Doug Thomas' best dunk of the year. So many to choose from, so let's see what you have to say. For Jason Epner, I'm Mike Wollen. This has been a DITV Sports Update.